We are back in our town, Mattoon, talking some high school football here. I'm Brett Behrens visiting with the Green Wave football team. Believe it or not, we are just six weeks away from the first high school football game of the season. In one sense, it feels like it just ended, guys, and we are almost ready to go here. Three and a half weeks before practice starts. I'm not sure if that's a good thing for these guys or not. It's going to be really hot. They're going to be out there practicing. But we are pleased to be joined now by first-year head coach Jared Kimbrough. What does this opportunity mean for you to take over a program from, I know, a guy you called a mentor and a friend for a long time in Troy Johnson. Yeah, it's a fantastic opportunity. Uh, Troy was a great mentor and friend through the years, and I've been here since 04, and so just getting the opportunity to come out here uh, and put my stamp on the community uh, is fantastic. What do you want that to be? What do you want your teams to be known for? Uh, physical play, 100%. Uh, physical up front, physical on defense, uh, running the ball, and, and doing things the right way. This opportunity, you go from offensive and defensive line to now coming to being the head coach, but that means you're going to coach a lot of these guys. Riley Spencer here joining us now. What does Coach Kimbrough bring to the table for you, and, and what do you think this opportunity means for you in this program? Uh, Kimbrough brings a lot of energy to the team. Uh, he's definitely changed the dynamic of the football program that we have, um, building more of a football culture, and uh, I think that we could really win some games with him. What does it mean for you to have the season almost here? Uh, I'm excited, uh, ready to play with the, the guys on the field, and uh, just ready to play. Chase Woodard, what does this opportunity mean for you to have a new coach as you go into your senior season and, and your last time playing football? It's awesome. I mean, it's exciting. It's it's like it's new, but he's bringing some old elements over, and I think he's doing a good job, and he's bringing a lot of energy, like he said. You guys get a new field this year. What does that mean for you to be playing on a turf field for the first time? I think it's awesome. We've always had a grass field with a, a little hill in the middle, and I, the, the new turf is really nice. The new track looks really nice, and it's really exciting. A little hill in the middle? How did, how did you guys manage that? I don't know. It's just... We just played with it. I just, and hey, now they're going to get a turf field. You got a new complex going in here in town as well. Uh, when you hear practice in three and a half weeks, what comes to mind for you, Coach? Uh, not a lot. I mean, these guys have all been dedicated since January. You know, as soon as I took over, we've been in the weight room doing what we need to get, doing what we need to do to get things ready and get it rolling in the right direction. So, you know, it's just another day for us. We'll, we'll put some pads on and really see who wants to play, but. We've got a pretty good idea who that is already. I cannot wait to hear those pads clicking. We're ready to go here. Six weeks from tonight, we will be live somewhere talking football. You guys will be getting ready to strap up. I can't wait. And